What's up everyone? It's Cassius. Just wanted to hop on and send out a special message to each and every one of you saying Happy New Year going into this year of 2021. 2020 has been insane, I think for every single person. So all I wanted to say really quick before we get into the best moments of 2020 for this year on the podcast is give yourself a pat on the back. You got through this year. It doesn't matter how hard it was. It doesn't matter how how much you struggled. You got through this year. So give yourself that. Congratulations, quite frankly, because this has not been an easy thing to do. We're adjusting, we're adapting, and we're moving forward. And that's all that matters. To me, at least, that's all that matters. So I'm wishing you guys health and safety moving into this new year. And I also just want to take a moment to say thank you for a great year here at the podcast. I would say this is probably the best year for the podcast to date. We've had some incredible guests. We've had some incredible laughs, moments. Uh, We've also had, you know, some incredible questions sent in from you guys and just the exchanges that I've been able to have with everybody. That's that really means a lot to me. Thank you guys for sharing this journey with me. Wishing you guys all the best and love in this coming year. And without further ado, here are the best moments of the Cassius Morris show in 2020. There's a spot that I wanted to ask you about back in the day called Mary Lou's on West 9th Street. Is this a spot that you have memories of? Yeah. What How can you tell me about that? Hey, I got to know. It's my job to know. But I know that you might have spent some time with Tony Sirico and some people there. Wow. Well, holy smokes. Well, you should work for the FBI. When we're done, I want you to email me your mailing address, and I'm going to mail you a signed picture. And the next time I come on, I want to see my picture next to Joey's picture. Yeah, I partied with David Bowie, God bless him, Bonnie Wood, Alice. This is way back in the day. You know, when MTV started, we all had to buy a fucking treadmill. <laughs> because then all of a sudden you're in every video all the time. Oh, you've got fucking love handles you can get away with on stage with a fringe jacket. <laughs> Especially in the studio. In the studio, all bets are off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll give me another seven up and fry. What person in their right fucking mind wants to be president? Number one, presidents have no power. No, they think they do because the cleverness of the strings attached to them, which makes them a puppet, uh, is very subtle, very powerful. When you were having such a vicious cycle of addiction, was it hard to say, okay, I'm gonna sit down and be sober to write this song and party after? That's a really cool question. I rarely use chemicals for assistance in my writing. Some of my friends do, some of my friends have to get loose, but I was always able to get to go to that place without any, you know, anything else. What I propose for the African-American community is to ban the N-word. I want it banned from all culture, music, because how can we get other people to respect us if we're disrespecting ourselves? Who right, the fuck right. came up with black? What the fuck? Black is a fucking space. It's a fucking hole. Who came up with the word black? From now on, it's African American. Sorry about that. Let me smoke a joint now. <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you for that. Right, you know what I'm saying? John Lennon got involved with politics, and look what happened to John Lennon. Yeah. So, but it's, uh, I don't think, you know, politics and rock and roll mix in my opinion. And I, I try to stay away from that as, as much as I can. I mean, once in a while, I'll make a crack, you know. I will say I'm a Trump supporter. Okay. But well, that's, that's about it. it. Well, fair enough. And it's so, I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I went back and watched a bunch of your videos too. And I was like, oh my God, this guy. It's like, like getting in. Like it's, it's fantastic. He's amazing, man. 